Hello everyone. Um, so this is a um, a first part of maybe say um, two part series. Um, in this one, we're going to build a lamp post, street lamp post. Uh, kind of like an old fashioned uh, street lamp post. Uh, so this is what I'm hoping to build with this uh, tutorial, the first part. Um, so this is a very simple one. You can quickly build this. Um, and then only uh, complex thing is not complex a little complex is assigning these materials so that they are transparent and then you know emitting light uh, faking that uh, light bulb inside the uh, lamp post all right let's get started i want to create a new file um yep yeah. and then uh, let me switch on um screen shortcut for you guys uh if i get it back okay all right now you can see my screen shortcuts all right so let's start with the cube um uh, this is our default cube let's get into um edit mode by tapping tab hitting tab on your keyboard and select the top face space selection mode or either number three on your uh, keyboard select the top face scale s to scale and now i press e to extrude and then extrude slightly and then i to inset uh yeah inset and then g to grab and then z to constrain to the z axis and also come over here over this edge and then while holding my alt key click that will select the entire you know face loop and now alt e select extrude faces along normals and then move your mouse you can build that uh, you know uh, the the kind of like the roof shape and now press s to scale and then z to constrain to the z axis and then scale it okay now g to grab and then z to constrain to the z axis okay now select this face uh, extrude and then scale uh, you know do not uh, scale too much so I want to have a kind of a, like a curved shape so that extrude and then scale slightly so that you have that you know shape uh, you know curvature uh, roof and now scale to make it you know look nice and then extrude again scale now I want to get the handle I to inset and E to extrude again okay now come over here this edge press and hold alt and click on that edge you select the face loop and then I to inset if you get this kind of thing press I again so that it do it, it does individual you know uh, faces okay now press alt e and x uh, extrude, extrude along uh, normals now inward not outward but inwards okay so that it feels like a glass okay now press one from your keyboard go to side view i want to adjust the sizing and enable uh, x-ray mode toggle x-ray mode and then select this portion so you select all the you know bottom half uh, bottom part of this uh, lamp and uh, scale and then grab gz okay turn off your x-ray mode now i feel that should do it 
and then select this bottom page press E to extrude and then extrude slightly and then extrude again this time scale and again extrude scale now let's create a tiny um, spike like thing now scale and make it pointy now come over here over this edge not this edge if you do that edge you select the other way around if you click on this you select you know that base loop that's what I want alt E extrude along normals outward okay that's basically our uh, basic shape of the uh, lamp post let's assign some materials to this select this face this one this one and this one okay go to material properties and then under this material let's rename this one as you know glass um, and then go to select the surface select glass PSD and then let's give it a color of maybe when we slight blue and then make this uh, IOR 1.1 maybe and let's go down and go to settings in the same uh, material uh, tab there is a uh, section called blend mode select that one to alpha blend and then if you come over here right now we are in solid you know shading let's go to material preview uh, viewport now as you can see all the others are also you know doing uh, some weird stuff we can resolve that um, let's go to now you have selected all these classes let's go to select invert this will select everything else other than four glasses and then let's go to material section and click on add new and then click on this one as well plus after that new and then select assign and uh, down over here make sure that it is opaque and select a color I will select you know black for that and click on assign again to make sure it is already assigned I will rename this one as a uh, metal and then if you want to make it metallic let's make it metallic all the way down and then increase the roughness slightly now if you tab out of this mode this is what you see this is your um, preview but still you need to do some sort of things with this one let me add a light bulb go to add I'm in the object mode and then go to add mess uh, let's add a UV spear and then if you press slash forward slash from your keyboard you can go to you know individual mode local view of that particular object that is our spear if you tap into this one you can edit uh, go to you know a vertex selection mode press one from your keyboard or just select this uh, icon and select this one and then come over here enable proportional editing let's see what it does G to grab and then Z to constrain to the Z axis you can see this uh, if you scroll your mouse you can see this uh, you know effective area you can increase and re uh, decrease the uh, uh, area size and, and then grab until you it looks like a bulb right okay now face selection mode turn off proportional editing press C C from your keyboard and then you know adjust the effective area and then click you can select all of them at once and then hit enter 
now side view scale s to scale and then z to constraint to the z axis then type 0 and hit enter now extrude let's scale this one first scale and now extrude okay that is our hold okay let's assign some colors to this one as well this time I'm assigning new select emission and uh, strength make it band Mm, alpha blend yeah that should do it tab into edit mode uh, let's go to material view and then this part is already selected if not you can select them and then shift and hold click on this line so that you select everything go to material again and add a new slot click on new assign principal BST I want to sign black to that hold now if you go to material preview you can see that that bulb has a black hold okay now press uh, forward slash from your keyboard to get everything visible and while you are you have your bulb selected press S to scale and then scale the bulb uh, grab Z yep that should do it now so you assign this bulb a material uh, that is uh, emission so let's uh, adjust some uh, uh, settings in there go to material um, so you assigned you made it five let's make it five and let's assign some you know yellowish color so that it looks like a bulb you know okay and now I go to camera uh, rendering settings over here and then there is a section called bloom put a tick on that so that you can see that light bulb mimics that it has kind of a, like a you know rays coming out of it increase the intensity and color yellowish color okay but even though this is an emission it will not cast any light onto these you know bars to do that I need to add another light source go to add light point light and then click on while it is selected click on the light properties and then increase this one to maybe 10,000 color is yellow now if you go to render preview here you can see it emits light so that light actually the light emits light but you feel like our bulb is emitting light um, okay let me do one more thing let's select this uh, bulb uh, lamp and then select the um, glass go to shading uh, shading and you can see that I assign some uh, you know glass material to that let's add some you know um, reflect um, uh, you know transparency to this one okay go to add search for transparent not translucent you should select transparent and then put it here and then I need to combine this transparency with the uh, the emission of the glass material if you have two shaders this is a glass shader this is a transparent shader you need to combine these two you have a mix shader that uh, that does the trick for you combine these two it's something like this now it is more transparent see 
if you come back to layout and then tap out of this edit mode you can see that in you know, a bulb without any issue see so no refractions because we added transparency there all right um, if you want to do the same thing for the bulb you can do the same go to select the bulb and then go to shading and then under the emission and then add another node search for uh, as transparent transparent bsd and then go to add mix shader to mix those two put plug it in here and then plug the output here to the shader too right now if you go to layout um, it should see uh, go to light and then go to material light section we assigned uh, emission right not the glass actually um, uh, yep let's go to shading again and then adjust this one for the transparent side more likely yeah so you have a slider factor so this will select either pull opaque that is emission or pull transparent right so you can adjust that bar so that you can see that light has you know some kind of like a see-through effect so you can see here you can see the other side through that bulb okay now if you go to renderings preview you can see your um thing and then i just want to adjust this one slightly uh, intensity i need to increase um radius you can increase and uh, let's reduce the threshold so that i feel like it is more like 0.5 and if i go back to material preview you can see ev render version of this uh, bulb of the lamp yeah all right so that pretty much it so in the next part i will build the whole um, lamp post street lamp post in all passion way but for now i think i am not going to overload you guys with uh, any more stuff so here this is how you build add glass materials that's how you add uh, you know glow to a particular object uh, by adding an emission and then you can combine your uh, material maybe the emission material or the glass material with a transparent uh, bsd uh, transparent node mix shader and then mix both of them so that you get the transparent effect all right hope you will find this one useful and then use in your projects uh, this is a, an easy easy one to do all right so we'll meet with the other part of this uh, the same video uh, same tutorial um, thanks for watching